Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be talking about who is the richest person in RuneScape history. Now this is going to be looking at both versions of the game and this person in particular is more famous during the kind of 2010-2011 era. Now this person had accumulated vast quantities of wealth, items, and today the bank value of this person be worth upwards of 1 trillion GP. Alright guys, I hope you enjoy the video, and let's get started. Alright, so I'm of course talking of Chessy018. She was by far the most well-known uh, richest person in RuneScape at that time. There may have been a richer person at that point, however they were not public about it, which is probably smart. <laughs> so the way that she initially got her fortune was via merching. Uh, to begin with, she would merge simple items like U-Logs and Raw Lobsters because uh, they were in high demand. Now this is before the Grand Exchange, so it was possible to get much higher margins by selling on offline forums and just getting large bulks of items from noobs selling them for cheap. Uh, you could actually make a lot of money just merging high volume resources and stuff like that. Once the Grand Exchange came out, she already had a fairly sizable sum of money. The real way she made her fortune was by performing uh, pump and dump scams on other players through the Grand Exchange. Now, what this pretty much means is that she was the leader of a merchant clan uh, called Merch Masters. And if any of you guys have seen my other video about merchanting clans, uh, the person on top usually makes a fortune and the people on the bottom, not so much. So for example, she would tell everyone to buy uh, Abyssal Whips. They would rise in price as everyone was buying them out. She would dump her massive stock of whips either on her clan from people who were buying them or just other players for a huge profit and repeat this process over and over and over and over again. Now back then, while I think it was still against the game rules, uh, clearly it wasn't as big an issue because she never got banned for it. Now most of her wealth came from item stacks, but she actually did have six piles of max cash to begin with, which in RS3 now isn't worth nearly as much. Back then having six piles of max cash was still impressive. Now as for her items, she had 1000 plus dragon claws. Back then that was worth close to 20 bill. Each one was around 10 to 20 mil at the time. She had uh, 700 plus dragon hatchets or dragon axes, which is only worth about a bill. I say only a bill, still a lot. She had about three or four of each party hat, which was worth about 25 bill back then. She had about 300 to 400 of uh, Bandos chest plates and Bandos tassets, which were about 9 to 10 bill each for that. She had around 20 of each Halloween mask, which while they are worth a ton more today, uh, back then they are still worth about 100 mil each or somewhere around there. So we had about 12 bill in Halloween masks. Now her most valuable and impressive stack of items by far has to be her 1000 plus Santa hats, which she has shown off on a couple videos. Even back then, those were worth 180 bill roughly just for the Santa hats, which is the equivalent of roughly 84 max cash stacks, which is just ridiculous. She had a couple other collections like uh, Bizzle Whips, which she had a thousand plus of, and also having sunk about one bill into construction to get like 70 or 80 mil construction experience is also kind of part of the tally. So her estimated worth back in 2011 was between 250 bill and 300 bill, which for the time was still an insane amount of money. Almost nobody came close to that amount. Again, I'm not saying that there weren't possibly other richer people. However, she was the most public about it. She has a YouTube channel. You can go look at uh, some of her videos. I'll leave a link in the description for that. I had one question while I was looking at that. If she had the exact same items today in the 2017 economy for RS3, what would her bank value be worth? Would it be worth more or would it be worth less? So the majority of these items have gotten cheaper in price except for a select few and those ones are luckily extremely important. Uh, so stuff like Dragon Axes, Dragon Claws, Abyssal Whips, Tacits, any kind of general everyday item that she had a large collection of is now pretty well worthless or worth a fraction of what it used to be. With the exception of Santa Hats, Party Hats, and Halloween Masks. All the rares have continued to get more and more and more expensive. Like the Party Hats right now are going for above max cash. I looked up some offers on the forums. They're going for 3 to 4 bill each, which means she has about 70 bill in Party Hats. But the most notable and the most crazy is the Santa hat. The Santa hat has been spiking in value all year and at its peak this year it was upwards of 800 mil which means her stack of Santa hats at the current price would be worth 840 bill and her stack of Halloween masks would be worth about 42 bill. Now if you use the US measurement system for billions and trillions she would probably have close to 1 US trillion GP in the game if you're using the UK system, I think it's a million billions, goes into a trillion, 
correct me if I'm wrong there because I know a lot of you guys are from the UK. Is that correct or am I crazy? So if she still had all those items from 2011, she would be nearly a trillionaire, which is really crazy to think about. However, unfortunately, as a lot of these stories go, she was hacked in 2011 and issued a temporary ban, but she did get the account back, but the hacker stole. The hacker stole most of her valuable items. Over 170 billion coins were believed to be hacked. The actual details were never released. However, uh, via just some forum posts and wiki, it seems to be around that number. The coins were never given back to Chessie, unfortunately, but she did retain her account. Now, losing that amount of money would be devastating, not to mention that the hacker may have made out with close to 150k real-life cash, $150,000. That's enough to uh, put a hefty down deposit on the house, buy like five cars. I don't know. It's a lot of money. I'd like to imagine that the wealth got suspended and nobody ended up getting it. All right, guys, that's about it. Chessy 18 is probably the most famous and the most wealthy person to ever play this game. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to uh, toss it a like. I always appreciate it, and I will see you in the next one.